Hey guys, Mandy here, and welcome to my channel. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell, and make sure your options are set to all. That way you're notified every time I post a video. Like this video and make sure to comment and tell me how much you loved it. And I will see you guys in the video. Bye bye This series is not meant to dictate how others make their role plays or meant to tell others their way of creating is wrong. This is just my experience with creating role plays and everything I've picked up along the way. This series is only meant to educate those who want to learn how to create role plays. I hope this helps. Hello everyone, Mandy here and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the second video within the revised how to role play series. Today we're going to be talking about script writing and this might be a little longer because I am adding more. I am talking about a lot of different things within this. So buckle up because this is going to be a long one. I believe that script writing is the most important part of making a series slash a role play. It all starts with a core idea that is just the start of your whole series. Whether you're making a role play, writing a book, or writing a screenplay, etc. It all starts with an idea, so make sure to flesh out your main idea as much as possible. Try to make your core idea as original as possible, but at this point, it's not a secret that everything under the sun has been made before, so don't feel bad if your series and someone else's series has some minor things in common. When you really think about it, there's like a million vampire movies slash TV shows and a million high school plot lines for actual TV consumption. So just because you're making a medieval werewolf series doesn't mean that you're copying someone else's medieval werewolf series. You know, um, same genre, different traits, basically. But when it comes to this topic, people within the Minecraft roleplay community can get a little butthurt about it, as that's very understandable because you wouldn't want anything that you have made to get ripped off. But to be completely honest, as long as you know you're not copying anyone and that you're not intentionally trying to do it, that's all that matters. Don't let anybody try to dictate or tell you what you can put onto your own channel. But with that being said, I'm just going to show you guys a couple examples of what are copying or what's considered copying. Having the exact same series name and or title. Now this can 100% happen upon coincidence. There's lots of situations where people have the same title within the real play series. It can happen 100% on coincidence. So don't feel terrible if your series is like the same name as something else. But just to make sure, check to see if the series name has been taken already. How you can do this is you can type the series name that you wanna do, space Minecraft real play into YouTube and just see what pops up. Or you can also do that onto Twitter because a lot of people within the Minecraft roleplay community um, have studio Twitters or they talk about the roleplays on their Twitters a lot. So you can also do it there. You can also do this into Instagram because some people post specifically just for their Minecraft roleplays on Instagram. It all just depends where you search and where you look it up. That is something that I suggest that you do before naming something. Having characters who look the exact same. Not just characters that have the same minor characteristics like blonde hair and blue eyes, because let's face it, there are a million blonde hair and blue eyed people within the world. But I'm talking about a direct character, like copy and paste, basically. I understand that you may feel something for a character with another series or within someone else's role play or within a book or something along those lines, but don't just drop ship them into your series. I see this come up a lot within the roleplay community, more so recently than I have in the past. And please just keep in mind that people work really hard on creating unique character designs. So that way they're recognizable, like this is the character of this creator. This is the character of this creator. So just don't take people's characters. Like 100%, like I said, small characteristics don't, it's fine. Like if you have brown hair, that doesn't mean anybody else can have brown hair. But um, yeah, just don't take anybody's characters is basically what I'm saying. The next two points that I'm going to bring up um, kind of go hand in hand. They are copying a series word for word or doing a copy paste of someone else's series onto your channel. What I mean by this is 
you basically plagiarizing another creator's series. You would watch their series and remake it word for word or completely and just post it to your channel. That is considered plagiarism. It's considered copying. It's straight up stealing within my opinion. I've had this happen a couple times to me. I haven't had it happen a lot, which is great, but it has happened a couple times. Um, one of the more recent times that it has happened, which was a couple months ago with this series, actually with the original How to Role Play series. Someone had completely taken the series and just ran with it on their own channel. And I'm not against the spreading of information about Minecraft role plays. If you create role plays 100%, make this type of series, spread more information, get it out there, show people that it is possible to do this without a huge production or without a huge crew. But within this specific case, this person took the name, took our titling, took our branding, took everything under the sun about the series and just put it onto their channel in the exact same format, the exact same wording, even the exact same releasing of videos, even the thumbnails looked the exact same. Now, they didn't directly rip anything from our like channels. They didn't take a logo. They didn't take anything they remade all of the assets and then just use them or that's where you can really just cross the line into copying someone else's thing like any other creator honestly can make a had roleplay series and just title it something else and talk about the same topics we're talking about but just give their perspective on it 100 percent do that but when it comes to just uprooting everything and all this information that we are saying and then just plopping it onto your channel with the exact same branding and all that stuff that's where it just crosses the line but just to clarify there is nothing wrong with taking inspiration from other creators within the community but there's a fine line between inspiration and copying somebody so please just keep that in mind also, remember that the genre of your roleplay doesn't define it as series as a whole. Like, if you make a high school roleplay, there can be so many other things and so many other topics that you cover within a high school roleplay, but it's not just defined as high school roleplay, girl falls in love with a boy, girl fights with other girl for a boy, girl wins boy. Like, you know, that's what people usually expect when watching a Minecraft like high school role play um but there can be so much more to it always try to give your series a twist to make it your own maybe add some defining characteristics so that way people know oh this was made by so and so because this happens or this is made by so and so because of the way that this is or just anything like that basically beginning start out with a very vague idea and then flesh it out from there very simple idea can always make a really really great story if you have any additional ideas quickly write it down so you don't forget them later but make sure it's clear enough to where you can recognize what you're actually trying to say it can be on a notepad app on your phone or you could have it on a piece of paper or a stick it or anything like that or if you have a whiteboard write it on a whiteboard anything you will not believe how much this has saved me just writing it down quickly before i even forget it that's literally how owd was made one woman's death that's literally how that was made is i had a thought in the middle of the night i wrote it down went to sleep i woke up and i looked at it again personally i like to start out with a series outline that's where i just write everything down and i'll get a little bit more into that a little bit later i write down my initial idea my plot any additional ideas that I will want to touch on later, characters, character de descriptions, and just a whole bunch more. I also write down some scenes that I'd like to add in later, just so I know exactly like where to put them, because I might have a great idea for a scene right now, but I'm thinking, wait, maybe I want to push that back until a little bit further into the series so I can set everything up and everything just makes a little bit more sense. So just make sure to write it down. When I write a script in the beginning, I have bits and pieces of what I think of, just random thoughts that get me super excited to start a series. 
But sometimes I let those ideas cloud my judgment and I want to skip right to those. But that can kind of make everything in the beginning really, really hard to do. Also, I'll just be super excited about those parts of the series, but not so excited for the beginning parts, the parts that I need to get to where I want to go. So like I said, you'll still need to set up everything in the beginning to lead to those exact events. So make sure that you set your scene, like what time period is it in? Where are they? Are they in a bar? Are they in a tavern? Are bar and tavern are the same thing? Are they in a village? Is it modern? Like, what is it? How old is the main character, etc. A huge tip that any writer will give you is write what you know. Write something that will be relatable, but also something that you are familiar with, which is why high school is very, very popular within the Minecraft roleplay series because it's relatable enough for others to cling on to, and it's something that everybody goes through within their lifetime. Also, write something that you know that you have extensive knowledge on, like medieval fantasy is a really good example. Just make sure that you've fact checked everything that you're writing. Um, and if you're unsure on something, look it up. Which leads into research. Research is important when writing in general, just in general, when you're writing research things. But especially when you're writing about a topic that you know very little about. For example, when I started voicing in a network and I started voice acting Tangle, which is a FNAF character, uh, before I started, I knew nothing about FNAF or the franchise. Like, I knew absolutely nothing. But I looked up a lot of different things. I looked up Let's Plays. I looked up concept and theory videos. I read up a lot on the fandom wiki to make sure I knew everything that I possibly could about this franchise and about this specific video game. So that way I wasn't just talking out of my butt and I actually knew what I was talking about and I could stay as close to the games as possible, basically. So the point here is just do your research. Please make sure that you're also reading credible sources. An example with this is also um, Greek mythology. And I'm going to bring this up briefly. Um, for example, within Greek mythology, everybody is very, very, very into the story of Persephone and Hades. There are a lot of different versions on their story. There are some versions to where she is kidnapped and taken down to you know, the underworld. And then there are other versions where she willingly goes down. It just depends on where you get your information from. So make sure what you're reading is credible. Script length is kind of important depending on what type of series or roleplay that you're making. Cinematic is going to rely very, very, very heavily on the script. For example, a fully scripted video for me for a cinematic series is about 12 to 15 pages. This is because I like to add footnotes and little reminders to myself and I like to add a lot of detail into my scripts so I know exactly what I'm doing when I'm recording and so that way voice actors know exactly what I want out of the script and out of the lines. Like if I need a skin change for an expression, I add it within the script. If I need a certain tone for a line, I add it in the script. For some people, scripts may not be long at all. It just depends on what your style is and what you're trying to go for. But just an example, a 12 page script for me equates to well over 10 minutes. So somewhere in that range should be good, but don't beat yourself up if you don't get your script to reach over the 10 page mark. It's completely fine. You're adding in a bunch of transitional shots anyway, so you'll be good. Titling. Keep your title catchy. A series name should be something short and sweet, not too long, and if it is long, like I do, find a way to reference it in a shorter way. I like to make my series long names apparently. So I find ways to shorten them when I reference them or when I talk about them. So for example, One Woman's Debt is OWD. Minecraft Legends is MCL. Pick a series name that will draw people in and make them want to watch it. Also make sure that the series name is relevant to your storyline and the core idea of your story. If it doesn't relate to it, your series won't make a lot of sense. A hook to a series should be shocking, something that the viewers aren't really going to expect, but still something that will make sense within the universe. 
I can't really dictate what your hook will be. It just depends on what your story is. So you'll kind of have to figure that out for yourself. Character outlines. Earlier, I mentioned character outlines slash descriptions. And this is just basically going to be a list of things that are going to make make up like your character. But in my opinion, it should include your character's name, age, supernatural race, if any. Um, if they're a human, you don't have to write anything down or you can just write down human. Um, traits like clumsy, proper, sweet, perfectionist, etc. And a small summary of your character, basically giving them a little bit of a backstory so, you, you know, you get more sense of who they are as a person. And the conclusion. Wow. Once again, this is something that you will have to figure out for yourself as I don't know what you're writing about or what your story is going to be. But there are multiple ways that you can end a series or a season of a series. If you completely want to end a series, make sure the conclusion is final. Leave zero open ends, zero room for it coming back. If the conclusion was the main character finding her soulmate, make her find one by the end of the series. Make it known that it's not going to come back. But if you want to keep the series going for maybe a couple more seasons or a couple more videos, um, make sure that you leave open ends, that you leave open room. Don't cut off any possibilities or all possibilities to there being more to a series, basically. Maybe leave them off on a cliffhanger. That's the best way, within my opinion, to draw in more viewers and make them want to watch more. For example, the main character's freshman year of college ended, therefore, therefore the season ends. And maybe make him slash her allude to a next possible season with an ending line like, I can't wait to see what's in store for next year. Something along those lines. Now, to be completely honest, a lot of your writing is mostly going to be up to you. And I can't completely tell you what to do or explain everything within writing because it is a creative process, which means a lot of it is up to you. I can't really tell you how to end a series. I can't tell you how to spice it up unless I know exactly what you're writing about. And I'll need a lot of information in order to tell you that. Like your plot, your ideas, your timeline, etc. All of those are very vital while writing a story. So be creative and go wild, but not too wild. Make sure that your series is appropriate, though. Keep in mind that it's still Minecraft. Like, we're still making a series within Minecraft here. So there are kids watching, whether you like it or not. There are kids watching. You may not be targeting your videos to kids. My videos, personally, are not targeted towards children. Despite what my demographic thinks, they're not. Also, just may not be your intention, but they're still there. Regardless, it's the internet. They're going to be here. It's okay to talk about heavy topics, but make sure to do so with taste. Make sure you know what you're talking about. I recommend adding trigger warnings to specific episodes that may cover touchy subjects. And I will be going more depth into that in a later video down the road. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And by the way, yes, I am in an IHOP. Don't judge me. I like the set. Hopefully this helped you a lot more with your writing. If there are any questions that may not have answered, make sure to comment them down below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.